are my only friends old people right now? It looks ugly. It's new, guys. My scalp's dry. Oh my gosh, it has red 40 in it. You're so festive. Sure, that was cute. Hey, Mama. Hey friends, welcome to <clears throat> what day? Day 13 of Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. We're getting pretty close to Christmas. I have my pre-workout here. I'm taking pre-workout again because I'm pretty tired, but I want to go running because it's just been so good. I have like a shirt under the sweater, so it's looking bulky. Anyway, also my laundry is Right there, it needs to be folded. I had a good weekend. I didn't film too, too much, but I actually got more footage than I thought I did. The weekend was uh, really fun. I put up my seat on the motorcycle, like a little backrest, which it just makes such a difference because this bike is like way more powerful than our last bike. And I just like could not have a backrest, but with a backrest, it was so comfortable and I love going on the motorcycle. So. I was just like, take me everywhere. <laughs> um, it still scares me a little bit to go on the freeway, but with the backrest, I felt really good. I didn't go on the freeway on the new motorcycle because it, like, w when he accelerates, the my calves like hit back onto the, the bags of the motorcycle, and I'm just like, I'll literally fly off <laughs> this bike. Now I'm gonna go work out. It's like noon, it's 12.30. Gonna just watched <laughs> the last vlog. He said, great sewed. A great episode. Petra's just came to cuddle with me. Anyway, I had a great weekend. Sorry, Petra. Don't leave. Late start to the vlog a little bit today. I got some clips of the morning, but I didn't edit anything on my last video, so I was editing all morning, which was fun. This is just a little sample of the Laneige sleeping mask that I got, I think, last year as a free gift for my birthday. <laughs> from Sephora and I still have it obviously I don't use it I use it quite a bit I mean it's about to run out but it's good it's good I do really like the CeraVe if you don't want to spend $20 on a lip mask just do the CeraVe healing ointment I just have this I've been using it up oh what I wanted to do today I want 
to do my self-care day that I was talking about on Saturday. But I think today I'm going to catch up on some like computer things I need to do. Um, just especially like right now since I'm vlogging so much, there's a lot of files on my computer. I need to transfer them off onto my hard drive and I need to like, I have to have it be organized. So I'm going to go through and organize all of that, put it onto my hard drive and then so I can delete them off my computer and get through the rest of Vlogmas without my computer slowing down on me. And I think today will be a good day to do that because since it's already 1230 and I'm going to work out for about an hour, it'll be kind of late to be rushing through my self-care day when I wanted to take like three hours to do that. So I think I can do that tomorrow if I get all these things done today. And I'm going to, last night I made some German fried potatoes that were so good. So I'm going to perfect the recipe and I'll share that with you guys. I also ran out of red potatoes so I can't make them again until we go to the grocery store. Also, I have a huge eczema outbreak. Not huge. That was dramatic. I have an eczema outbreak on my finger. On my ring finger on my right hand. And it's like... I always say this stage hurts the most. Or this... <laughs> no, but really this stage is the one that hurts the most. It's just like woke up so sore in the morning. And like it's cracking. And when it the skin cracks, like it's deep. So... <sighs> it's kind of a bummer. I got... A paper cut on this finger and for some reason both of them were just hurting so much first thing in the morning this morning it makes me so sad when I wake up and they're like hurting last week was so busy and this week I just don't have that many things to do which is nice I wanted to tell you guys that I had grits for breakfast and then I was thinking how <laughs> like two vlogs ago like all I did was hang out with old people <laughs> my godparents and grandma and I'm like are my only friends old people right now over. It was a little trickier than I thought it would be. You guys can't see me. There you go. And now Gunner's gonna be home in just like 20 minutes. So I think I'm gonna go put the laundry away. I can't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing today. Um, I think this is all I wanted to do. So if my computer starts to slow down I can just um, delete the projects but I still have the clips here because I wanted to save all the clips of me and my godparents um, like unedited just like the whole clip just because I don't know I think they're funny <laughs> oh that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a coffee because I feel like I need a coffee and update on the running. So I went, my gym workout, I didn't even tell you guys. I I logged it as a walk because I did the incline walk most of the time, but I did a, about 55 minutes. I ran for 10 minutes after I walked for 14 minutes. And then I did a high incline after the run for I don't even know how long. And then I tried running again for like, I ran for like five or six more minutes. I didn't want to run too much where I can't like keep running the rest of the week. 
So before I used to be able to run for like 20, 22 minutes straight. So to <clears throat> start running again and just go off right off the bat and do 10 minutes is pretty good because I haven't ran in like uh, at least over six months, eight months or something. Although the first day I ran, I did run. Or yes, the last time I went running, I think I did 15 to 20 minutes total, not all at once, but yeah, I'm just listening to my body with that. Sandwich was really yummy. I love pepperoncinis and I, for a while there, was eating turkey sandwiches with pepperoncinis for lunch like every day, but I got kind of tired of it, but I got some this last weekend and it was good with those chips. I feel like you can't go wrong. I feel like a turkey sandwich and chips is a very summery lunch, but it's, it was good today too. But I'm gonna make another coffee and put away the laundry. I vlogged the whole other day in this sweater, but I'm wearing it again. I don't know. And guys, exciting update, it's actually cold. Like I feel cold right now inside the apartment and I don't have all the windows open because usually I have all of them open trying to let some of the cold air in um, and it just doesn't stay cold. Can this please work correctly? Like what is happening? literally looks so bad ow I wish I had some Biscoff cookies I decide what I want to make for dinner I should really like try to grow my Instagram so I can ask you guys like polls in real time I always want to like do Q&A's on Instagram I love watching Q&A's on Instagram but like I have 200 followers on Instagram. I doubt I'm gonna get more than one question <laughs> Just from like one of my family members or something How embarrassing would it be to post a Q&A and then like There's no Q&A that follows it <laughs> So anyway Um, so I wrote down I did my grocery list like I tell you guys I showed you guys before I do my meals I'm gonna make and then the ingredients I needed to buy so we have steak and vegetables, which we always have, chicken and vegetables, salmon and vegetables, which we already ate yesterday, teriyaki chicken, I could make beef stew, I'm not going to make today because that's like kind of like a long one, so I'd probably make beef stew on Friday so that we have leftovers for Saturday dinner, that's how I always do it, so really we can either have steak chicken that's it because we just got a bunch of chicken no oh, because if we do chicken today monday chicken tomorrow tuesday steak wednesday the stew can i buy something i didn't no that's it i got brussels sprouts so maybe some regular chicken and brussels sprouts with some sweet potatoes or i could go the other way and make teriyaki chicken broccoli and rice i'll ask gunner what he's wanting to eat for dinner and go based off that because i don't really i'm not really craving anything i don't want steak though maybe i do maybe i'll change my mind after the gym sometimes after the gym i'm like give me my ribeye you tell me to take these or i have to take you i don't really want to because send me a picture yeah. of them okay why is she saying you have to take them i said no oh okay listen here's the thing mm. i mean I would date. If you don't want them, I'll take your box. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, yeah, I don't know. It is actually feeling pretty cold, which I'm excited about. I'm going to make some teriyaki chicken. I just looked up a recipe. I'll link it down below. I need to wash my hair because my scalp's dry. What's new, guys? My scalp's dry. Always. Does anyone have any recommendations for a dry scalp? Okay, here we go. I told myself I wasn't gonna wear this sweatshirt this entire vlog, but here I am. Okay, chicken, we got a bowl. Chinese cooking wine, soy sauce, garlic, brown sugar. The recipe called for fresh ginger, but I just, Threw mine out because I think it was spoiled. 
So I'm just gonna use powdered ginger and hope for the best. Really quick, off camera, I'm just gonna open my chicken and wash and dry it. And then I'll be back. And I have bone and chicken thigh. Almost three pounds, which is only $8. So highly recommend. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. I have a little bit more chicken than the guy does in the video. So I'm just gonna make sure to really pack in the brown sugar. Do just a little bit more of everything. This is usually how I ruin a recipe. It says one tablespoon of ginger, and I'm just gonna stick with that. Since this is powdered ginger, and I don't even know, is that too much ginger? I feel like that's too much. I'm gonna do a little less. Just because it's powdered, I feel like that's different than again. Two tablespoons of cooking wine. Two of soy sauce, which is where I think I'm gonna do just a little bit more. Just like a little bit more. <laughs> this is actually the first time I'm making my own teriyaki from like this. Usually I would just use teriyaki sauce from the store. Well, I recently got a bunch of ingredients to be able to make chow mein, like actual chow mein, because it's my favorite noodle. And so I got all of the ingredients. Normally I would just massage this with my hands. But I have eczema right now. I'm just gonna use this spatula. That's it. And the refrigerator marinating. I will say I'm not a big fan of saran wrap and plastic wrap that I just used, but when we were cleaning out grandma's house, she had a bunch of it. So I thought I'd rather use it than throw it away since it was already in her possession. But now that I'm using it, I'm like, dang, this is really convenient. But I eventually want to get these like beeswax cover things that you can reuse over and over again um, eventually. I feel like I'll probably be able to buy them once I'm done with all these rolls of saran wrap because I have like three Costco size. So I can't imagine I'll get through those anytime soon. But if I find some of the beeswax paper things I'm talking about, I'll link them in the description if I remember. But yeah, I'm just gonna let the chicken marinate now for an hour to two hours and grill it up with some broccoli and rice. but I got them at Marshalls <laughs> and my shoes are Nike Air Force Ones. You gotta show the shoes, baby. My shoes. But I was wearing these since I was 10, so before they were cool and trendy. We just went to Target. It tastes like beer. It says it has wine in it. Ew. It smells gross. I got this pot, ceramic nonstick. This pot isn't the best because it has that coating even though it says it doesn't we know it does i don't want to spend a lot on pots because i'm saving up because i'm going to get the big set of the hex clad cooking ware so i'm saving up for that those are going to be like my ultimate for life pots so it, it's fine gunner needed a new deodorant he got this one hey humans and then we got some sprinkles because I'm gonna make some snickerdoodle. Oh my gosh, it has red 40 in it. Palm oil, cornstarch. I did not read these ingredients. Oh my goodness. Yellow five, blue one, yellow six, artificial flavor. Well, oh what fun. Yeah, not really. Anyway, I'm still gonna use them. I would maybe go with 
The red 40 is really bad. Okay, anyway, it's fine. We got some sprinkles. I'm gonna put them on our snickerdoodles. So I remember why I didn't, didn't, I stopped um, wanting to you know, use my Apple Watch because it looks ugly. What are you gonna do? Okay, we're back to making teriyaki chicken though. And rice. I'm gonna start the rice. Okay, in my KitchenAid, I have butter and sugar because I'm making snickerdoodle cookies. I'll link the recipe down below too, but you just cream your sugar and butter. Add in an egg and vanilla. I've never tried making snickerdoodle cookies, so I'm just kind of winging it. So I put the sugar and the cinnamon like it called for, and then I'm just going to put some sprinkles too. Yeah, I put the cookie dough in the fridge. Now I'm getting ready to make the sauce. It says two tablespoons of honey. Did you hear that conversation? Yeah. Is that like actual teriyaki sauce in there? Yeah, it's like real teriyaki sauce. Take me. Take me. Now you're using a metal utensil and we're in the pot. Yeah, I think you should put them in the oven because you guys see your jammies on. And they go in for 10 to 12 minutes. Top shelf? Or yeah, the top one. Sure. Yeah. Close it up. 8.58 and then we just do timer for 10 minutes. sign off on the vlog. Woof. Thanks for watching. Say thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.